see what I'm doing here. I'm creating a brush which I can use to add a, um, a metal texture to this. So I'll go with this. And by some I mean
is a um, diffuse color. I can say it's a diffuse intensity. And I can define how intense the... Um, You can also grab these arrows that are connected to objects in object mode to move them around. If you don't want to just like grab on the x-axis and then grab on the y-axis. <coughs> Shiny, and down here's not. In fact, I can 
got brought in texture, you can turn the contrast up right here and get more out of something. It's almost nine o'clock, so yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to assume anything after this is extracurricular. People want to hang out, but we can consider this talk done. Uh, why don't I just show you guys how to render a, an image, like super fast? Okay. Uh, so this is the lightning round. <coughs> so say I want to say I don't want actually want to use this in a 3D game. I want to have this in a 2D sprite. I can, bringing the camera to my current view is control option zero, uh, I actually want to be in object mode for this, grabbing the camera which is this frame, I can center this code, grab on the Z axis, Z, Z, twice for local Z because that's the, the camera's axis I'm scaling on, I've got this thing, I don't want it to be that wide so I'm setting the output resolution, the width may be maybe 200 pixels, maybe the height is uh, 800, uh, maybe it's actually 600.
right, so if anybody has any questions,